Hi there! Today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY cold smoke generator, with the help of which we'll be able to smoke meat, fish or make other delicious meals. So, for making such a cold smoke generator we will need an aquarium pump, one can and two steel tubes. The smaller tube's outer diameter is 5 mm and the inner diameter is 3. The bigger tube's outer diameter is 12 mm and the inner diameter is 8. First of all, we need to put a mark 20 mm above the bottom of the can and make a through hole for the bigger tube. Let us make one more hole on the opposite side of the can. Also 20 mm above the bottom of the can for the smaller tube. The last hole we need to make has to be between these two. A 10 to 12 mm hole will be right between them. Now we will need a 4 mm drill bit. Well, I know you might be confused with all these measurements, but just hold on a little longer. Let us make 5 holes 10 mm away from the edge of the tube. Here's what we should get. Now let us put a mark 25 mm away from the last hole. Then we need to line up the smaller tube with a mark on the bigger one. And let us make one more mark on the small tube. We are doing it to know how deep we should insert the smaller tube into the bigger one. Finally, it's almost over. We just need to take the bigger tube and push it through for the holes to face the middle. Now let us take the smaller tube and insert it into the other tube, so that the marks on them overlap. After that, connect it to the aquarium or a car pump if you have it. And we should put a metal sheet over the tubes, for the holes not to choke with the scabs. And it's raining outside, that's why we're doing a test right in the studio. And when the main part is ready, we can connect the pump even to a cardboard box with meat or fish in it. If you're interested, I can make a video about how I was smoking fish or meat using this generator. But that's all for today, thanks for your attention! Have a nice day, bye! Did you know? Smoking food, either hot or cold, doesn't increase the amount of fat and cholesterol in it, which is usually associated with frying process. Consequently, when we consume smoked food, our bodies get only the fat that the product itself contains.